and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Leona by popular demand. We're going to be playing some Yasuo Leona and these two champions do work well together. Of course, Yasuo wants you to be stunning or recalling units and that's exactly what Leona does. Not only does Leona stun the strongest unit whenever she enters, but then if you get Leona to level up with four daybreaks, then Leona can start stunning enemies each time that you play a daybreak. So sorry, so a very important card here for us is going to be Robin. Uh, so it can always be day for us. So if we can have Robin, have Leona, level up Leona, keep playing daybreak cards, that's going to be the plan. Then we're stunning everything. Then if we can get a Yasuo in play also, as a bonus, each time that we stun one of our opponent's things, we'll deal two damage to it. And then quickly, that will be five damage after Yasuo levels up. That's kind of what our, our deck's all about. We got uh, Flay, Fay, Blade Twirler, our other uh, two drop that's going to care about stunning. Um, Pale Cascade is just too good of a spell not to play. So we got a couple of those in here. A um, couple of Sunbursts for extra removal with the Daybreak. Um, be, then, you know, our Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia, Deny. has been pretty good in this metagame. And then our top end with a Swiftfoot and a couple of Yone's. So let's go play five games over in rank. Let's try out Yasuo with um, Yasuo's newest partner instead of Swain, where you know, Yasuo with Swain was the most popular Yasuo deck before. Let's try the new version with Leona. And looks like we got a spider aggro. Darius at the top end is going to be something we're going to want to bounce. That looks like a really good hand to Mulligan. One hush in here, because that card's just pretty good. So we got one of those. And Solari Soldier does a great job of blocking Precious Pet. Now I want to play this Solari Soldier here on turn two as well. But since I don't have a turn three play, either I don't have a turn two or a turn three play, I'm going to save the Solari so I'm just going to save this. Maybe they play something pre-combat, and then I get to Solari Soldier. Now, definitely punish, because we just drew the Shield Bearer, so we would have had that anyway. So definitely punished. <clears throat> For not um, keeping our Daybreak going. Um... I don't know if it's really that that punish though. It, it just kind of hurts our ability to. Hmm. Elise level up. I can hush Elise right now, and then Elise doesn't level up. But it's it's basically to what end? At least we just like level up the next turn. My true beauty is beneath the skin. To fall. Some things never dull. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. This is going to be a tough one. I certainly imagine they're going straight to combat. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't get to Leona first. That's what I would like to have done. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six. We're only taking six. That's not too bad. We're going to bounce Elise. Keep Yasuo alive. It will not kill Elise. We're only going to be striking Elise for two. With the Yasuo ability. And then I think I just pass turn and keep this three mana available. I want to save, you know, Solar Soldier for after we have like Leona and Robin in play. <clears throat> so it's kind of. I definitely wish I could play like Leona and Robin, right? Like I wish I could get those both in play. Stop doing that. 
Stop hurting my Nexus. Not cool. That'll be useful. Because this only does the two damage, doesn't kill it. I guess maybe I just don't have a choice and I just have to play Solari Soldier. have another demolitionist in hand as well. All That's gonna hurt. Light. Life and death on a blade's edge. Oh, no. One blade, one purpose. Routes closed. They don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. It's hard to beat millions of demolitionists. Stalking Shadows is a great card. GG's. I don't think this is necessarily like a bad matchup. I think they they just, you know, kinda had a better hand than us and Clear it out. I got hurt for not playing my soldier on turn two. Day is unrelenting, but not eternal. One drop fearsome spider into Elise. Into a whole bunch of other spiders and level up Elise really fast. So like that's already a great start, and then you just compound that with okay, now 40% of your life total is gone from Devilishness, and you know, that's just a good hand. So we'll say GG's. Now we're gonna keep Blade Twirler Yasuo. It's unfortunate. I mean, I haven't played against Frostbite Midrange like ever since the new set came out. Like, I, I like haven't even played against this deck, but it's a deck that definitely holds Yasuo back. Um, I guess I keep Concussive Palm, but I don't... Hmm. I guess we keep Concussive Palm. I don't think we have to. <laughs> What's up? Uh, Kaz? Kaz Vule? Not sure how to, how to pronounce your name, but hello, hello. That could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen. Mark it down. Victory requires a sharp blade. They're basically dead. Nineteen life. They're basically dead. I don't know how they're going to be able to survive. Faster you know, they're they're at nineteen. I think not. All right, Leona. Yep. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Stun the Ash. Have the Pale Cascade because Pale Cascade's long. amazing to be able to protect Leona no, whenever they challenge the Leona with Trifarian and Glory Seeker. Yeah, um, question, was Lucian Overwhelm the same that we played a real long time ago? Close. Uh, you know, close. Basically the same. Um, you know, just kind of updated a little bit. Well, I guess I play the Soldier first before Yasuo, because if we play, we can't play it afterwards, because we need the Daybreak to happen. We need to be leveling up this Leona. You set him up. Carved from the I'll knock gold. him down. We got perfect mana for Concussive Palm plus Steel Tempest. Show me a target. I'll be three out of five for Yasuo. Ride onward. Ride onward. 
Okay, let's see. So. Tale of the Dragon. Steel Tempest. And what do I do about you, Hearthguard? I could I could have the Blade Twirler and the Hearthguard trade. Then they could just have Brittle Steel and they don't trade. Or I could just like throw this 2-2 in front. And say bye to the 2-2. I'll say bye to the 2 2. We could also just not block. That's an option. Nah. Y'all hear that? That's weird. I dare you. Now who's got the upper hand? I was just like car horn outside, but it felt it was like a tugboat. <laughs> it kinda sounded like a tugboat. We just go to attacks. Looks like Try to keep up. Yeah. some things never dull. Yeah, looks like we just go to attacks. We can't stop Frostbite with Bastion. I would like to, but we can't. The time is right. Strike now. Leave no survivors. I'll leave all the survivors at one. This is our homeland. Got the cooling strike right in time, so I can't even deny it. Now the Sejuani is going to be able to challenge again. You own what you take. I wonder what this hush is going to be like. I mean, we're, they're going to make it so we don't block anything. Like, that's that's their plan. Your attack is obvious. All right, block that. I guess we got to trade there, I guess. So I don't really want to trade the 1-3 with this kind of stuff. Strike hurt for sure. Yay, Deny did something. Deny did something. Show yourself. Now who's got the upper hand? Back on over to us. All right, so if we go Swiftfoot and bounce three things, then they can play Sejuani again and Frostbite my Blade Twirler. And so then I'd have Swiftfoot and two Yone's attacking. And so they'd, they'd block Sejuani, would block Swiftfoot. Um, wow, they just surrendered. They just surrendered. That's always the game plan, have them surrender. All right, Bilgewater... Again, Gangplank Sejuani. Gangplank Sejuani. This deck is becoming really popular, isn't it? We're playing against this deck a bunch. Alright, love Solari Soldier. I don't think Deny is that great against Gangplank Sejuani. Just kind of um, you know, using Rolodex in the head. 
you know, like through my head of like Rolodexing of like what is Deny gonna do? Probably not that much. It's like make it rain. Is all I can think of in my brain. Hey there. I don't mind the knife. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. You won't feel it at first. Ow. I think that the worst card in our opponent's deck is Prowling Cutthroat. Um, you know, have to be have the attack token on turn one. Like so many things have to go right for you to have this card, but like drawing this card later, it's it has so little impact. Um, I guess it can be like your first strike for Sejuani, but still, it's a one-one. It just doesn't do any damage. I think that <clears throat> if I were them, I, I mean, I haven't really seen this deck play in Omen Hawk. I've seen them playing Cutthroat <clears throat> and Jagged Butcher. And I would just be playing Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk is awesome. Do they play a bunch of Yordle Grifter? Because I guess that's that's Open that's a reason to play Cutthroat if they play a bunch of Yordle Grifter. I don't, rem I don't really remember. Okay, yeah, they do play Yordle Grifter, which makes sense. Yordle Grifter is Yordle Grifter is pretty nuts. I don't know. Maybe I'm just just uh, have a, a short memory because today we played against this this deck a bunch. Today we've had a lot of success, and they've had a whole lot of turn one prowling cutthroats that really haven't mattered and have died very easily. So maybe I've just had just some recency bias. I'll make corpses of them. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare. Oh, my hand is. <laughs> it's a little, a little awkward. No more running. Back heretic. Want to see these moves up close? Can't just take all this damage. Believe or burn. <laughs> yeah, cutthroat's definitely useful at times, and I'm not really saying that it. I'm not saying that it's not useful at times. But I'm just kind of asking, is it better than Omen Hawk? And I'm not sold on that yet. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Yeah. Some things never dull. I think they're just gonna be too fast for us this this game. Our hand did end up being pretty awkward. With just mono Pale Cascades. Pale Cascade's a great card, but you kind of want something else in your hand besides only Pale Cascade. And they they did have a really good one. You know, they had the attack token on turn one with the, cru with the Cutthroat. Is nothing. And um, did have a good hand. Uh, yeah, we'll go at last, there. I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. <laughs> yeah, good call, Kordak. Yeah, I was just kind of habit. You're right. My one two, I blocked the monkey just from habit. But yes, you're right. I should have blocked the two three where I could I could have had one damage on the two three. You're correct. So I, 
that higher gun up there as the 2-3 could have one point of damage on it and be a 2-2 right now if I would have made a better block. We know the value of coin. I don't know. Humility before power. That's good. That's good getting that card out of their hand. That's that's a card. Um, mm, they have another one. But that's still that's still honestly not bad getting it out right now because that's a card that can frostbite my team later with Sejuani. And that's a card that would's going to get that damage against me. So we're probably going to just need to just get rid of their Sejuani, aren't we? So we're going to have to use like Sunburst or Falling Comet. Doesn't really matter which one, I suppose. Um, we could save Sunburst for after a Leona's in play to try to have another Daybreak. So might as well Falling Comet. I expect them to probably warning shot me to Frostbite my, my team. Maybe not. Bow to no one. Now this one's a 6-7, so now I wish I would've used the Sunburst. So I'm doing this right now, turn my Yone into a 7-6. So that my 7-6 can block Sejuani. And force them to use the Warning Shot first, then I play the Pill Cascade, we can keep this alive. It does make my life easier. I am the bulwark against darkness. So they either have Gangplank. Like, basically the Babbling Beard draws one of anything that's going to be terrible for me. It's either going to be Gangplank, which is not good. Or it's going to be another Sejuani. And then they'll have, so they'll have a Fury of the North. That doesn't sound great. Or a worst case scenario, with Riptide Rex. Yeah, that's hand. just going to devastate us the following turn. He also is at three now. Not eternal. Frostbite everything. Don't stand in my way. This these bastions have looked oh, very off. bad. I will protect you. They're supposed to like be able to protect Yasuo and Leona. But they really haven't done anything. Well thirteen mana next turn. Okay, they're gonna let warning shot happen. Are they, they're not gonna warning shot. They're gonna let us <clears throat> kill those. We have what sunburst and Yasuo. There's plenty of killing left. If I play sunburst first, then Robin will not have the daybreak and will not create a random unit. But if I play Robin first, I guess I gotta play Robin first. Then if I try to sunburst, then they could, you know, frostbite my team. But I think if they want to frostbite my team on while I'm supposed to be attacking, I think that's okay.
Basically trading Sunburst for Warning Shot. That's how good Warning Shot is with Sejuani. <laughs> it's just so devastating in combat. Such a good draw. You won't feel it first. That is such a good draw. Come on, give me priority. Give me priority. No mercy for heretics. The guilty will bear. Wanna see these moves up close? Mm. No mercy for heretics. Let's go. Take out everything of theirs. No. Son of a no. So they don't have anything here. We get to we can go straight to attacks and force them to block with Sejuani. Guess that wouldn't really make a lot of sense with having a Yone though. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Uh, another warning shot. They know about the Yone, so they're going to go straight to attacks. It's their only option. Um, at best, I'm at one. At best, this is four damage right here. But then they have they have the Powder Monkey for the next turn, so I, I think it's just me being dead. Because I'm at best, I'm at one, but then the Powder Monkey kills me. Oh my gosh, they didn't attack with Sejuani. Okay, so we're not at best one anymore. Your attack is obvious. Hope you brought friends. The guilty were banned. We're up. It's like us gaining another two life. Sunwed. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. If they would have just attacked with Sejuani, I'd be dead. All right, let's see. Where are you at? You're at three out of five. Okay. You have taken a dark path. You never did believe me. Here's our chance. Destiny's way. Now who's got the upper hand? Well fought. They would have just attacked with the Sejuani. I would be at two, and they would have this warning. You know, they could have warning shot. I would be at two, and 
Uh, powder, basically they, all they'd have to do is Powder Monkey block and I would die. Uh, but now, we get to go straight to attacks. Okay, so obviously I can, I can Sunburst the Powder Monkeys, then I don't take the damage. But then that allows them to play something else. If they have, if they drew a, yet another Sedwani. One step closer to redemption. The last one, for a long time. Yeah, so close. GGs. GGs. I think, I think they could have been a little bit more aggressive. Not only that turn, but I think earlier also they probably could have been a little bit more aggressive. Get rid of these. I'm not sure if like Blade Twirler into Solari Priestess is going to be like our best thing for turn two, turn three, um, against a Leona Diana deck. Like maybe we'll get too far behind with this, with having a one three to one two. Those are not really Rise. the size of units that inspire confidence. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Okay, but not too bad. Alright, so it looks like we'll be able to be just fine. Meteor Shower does not kill Leona. Falling Comet does. I have I have the Sunburst, it's already like Falling Comet anyway. You know what? Let's take the warrior. That sounds like a good card we could play on turn five. Clad in shining sunlight. Where is a good five drop? It's our time. Believe or burn. All right, plan is play Yasuo first now, and then next turn we can have like Leona, Concussive Palm, all that kind of stuff. But let's lead Sleep is for the guiltless. with Yasuo. Get that in play before Leona. This is going to be a longer game. We chart our path by the Probably. Stars. Well, they're playing Mountain Scryer. Gonna have a longer Evoke game. Evoke? No, Invoke. The sun's Not Electronic reveal. Evoke. Now who's got the upper hand? Press the power of the immortal sun. Good chance that they have Pale Cascade also, and so that even though I could attack, I could make like good attacks with Pale Cascade, there's just a good chance that they would Pale Cascade me back. You know, this is a Nightfall deck, but they're, they're gonna be playing all three Pale Cascades. 100%. Fine. Last light. I will definitely trade. Like, that's not a very good use of Hush. Oh, I still got the three out of four anyway. <laughs> so that Hush just did nothing. That's really not a good use of Hush. Basically doing this to get the um, get the spell shield out of there. So now we can start working with this kind of stuff. Should only go to two out of five for Yasuo. If we play Robin, it, it does bring Leon up to four, but th that's it. I wouldn't have another Daybreak card besides the one that Robin would create. Now that spell shield's out of here. Make that a little easier to stun. Keeps their destroyer alive. It makes it easier for me to kill Argon's the destroyer with Yasuo's ability. Star, the blade above all. Kill 
pretty good about this one. But that being said, they have a lot of invoke cards. Their invoke cards all cost two less. So we'll see. I definitely like this. I like them attacking and not playing more things before attacking. More things before attacking would be scary. Humility before power. Here's our chance. War is everlasting. I will shield my people as long as I draw breath. Seems like for a pretty long time. No, Yasuo. Pick on someone your own speed. War eternal. yourself. Attack. I want them to block these mountain scryers. Exercise caution. Get them out of here. That hurts quite a bit. That just hurts the whole rest of my turn, not not getting a Daybreak card in now. Which I guess I can still play Robin, and then Robin will not have Daybreak, but then, then we could play like Solari Priestess, which, which would then have Daybreak. Or, you know, we could just bounce something. What can stop the immortal fire? I feel like just bouncing something. Now who's got the other hand? So, how much mana does this thing cost? Seven. Moonlight reveals. So they'll have if they replay that they'll have three mana. Oh no. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't do anything now. Um, yeah, I mean, this game's over. We lost. There's not, there's nothing I can get with the priestess that would stop this. Shouldn't have played Will of Ionia. That was the this one card one in the whole, you know, in, in entire Legends of Runeterra that really punished me for doing that. And they had it. All right. Okay. Before we play the last one, I'm gonna take out one of these Bastions. These Bastions have been really poor. They, and they were good for my opponent. I'm gonna play a, a second Hush instead of one of these Bastions. All right. And more Bilgewater. Was it Fate Swain? I'm gonna keep all these. I could definitely see the Sunburst being slow, but you know what? We, we already got a one drop, a two drop. We'll have three draws before turn three and four draws before turn four to find something else to do with those. Yeah, let's just keep all the Daybreak cards. The and fear the heretics. I have never had a hand where it's just been six Daybreak cards before. I can say that, this is the first. All right, here's our Bastion. This is 
is like the matchup where Bastion could be just fine. Because <laughs> they do play a lot of spells. Uh, but it's, you know, usually like make it rains and things like that. Little amounts of damages. At least they don't get to block with the 1 1. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. allows us to get that attack in, get that damage in, not let them Ravenous flock my Leona that easily. I wanted something cheap though. I wanted like the one drop, right? Like we wanted just to to spam daybreak cards this this next turn, this turn six. The one drop would have been the best. So we could have had the, the three, the one, the two, and the three all this this next turn and do triple stun. Lady Luck is smiling. Well, there's the one drop. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Behold the sun's holy light. I could see their plan being like I block their twisted fate and kill their twisted fate, and then they play a new twisted fate and red card. Could see that maybe was their plan. I stunned two things. Clad in shining sunlight. This is crazy. We haven't drawn a non daybreak card this whole game. Glorious light rains Pretty down. awesome. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Feel the sun's glory. You got legs, use them. Fate's now at three. But now I got removal for Twisted Fate with the Meteor Shower. Gotta go with the flow. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Let's do this! Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Here's our chance. So I think my plan is the the plus two plus two this next turn. Mm. I should have played more defense, more removal. I think it's about to be seven out of eight. Played red in stars. <laughs> I 
guess you can. This red card's not going to really affect us, but of course, you know, they can gold card and stun something. They'd be stunning like a Robin. And we, we could rise. play new, like, Solari Priestess instead of, you know, like, over the Robin. Yeah, or Solari Shield Bear. We could play, like, one of these over the, the Robin and get another stun in. I dare you. Now, who's got the upper hand? I need more Ugh, Petty Officer is great. My spirit shines. There's two bodies for... <clears throat> for that mana. Yeah, you're right. It'd be the the nine five would be stunned. Forgot about the nine five growing so much. Find me a flavoring milk. Why are you here? Get barnacle. I don't necessarily think that we're favored in this game right now. I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. It's just that's how good Twisted Fate is. I think we're actually probably behind right now. Which is crazy to say. Alright, depends. Like, if they just have, you know, they, they gotta have their ravenous blocks. Yep. I really, really should have killed Twisted Fate a couple of turns ago instead of playing my second Robin. That could definitely cost me this game. Eyes open. Definitely cost me this game. Hey, original Mars. Welcome to the stream. Sleep is for the guiltless. Interesting of what to do. We have 10 mana. Uh, the 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 four cards that I want to play are the three are the four removal spells with Swift Foot, Meteor Shower, Sunburst, Falling Comet, but I can only play one of the four. But then that's Oh no 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 cuz Oh no 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 no. I wanted to play Swift Foot. It doesn't matter. None, none of these cards matter. Bask in her radiant blessing. Probably attack with the three one. I'm like, I need to. I need to protect against their champions. I need to play. Re keep removal spells up. I need to. You know, I can't play any of these. You know, Twisted Fate, we absolutely need to kill. Now, where was I? Basically keeping my Will of Ionia up to protect my Yasuo. If need be. Who says I don't share? Oh. Have faith. 
game would have been a lot easier if I would have just played Swiftfoot last turn. Always on the run. Welcome to try. Why would the two two not attack also? reason for the 2-2 not to attack is they really wanted to have Yasuo at one health. And so that means they would only have one thing that does one damage. If they would if they'd have two things that would do one damage, you would think they would attack with the house spider also. They just had that. Like why did, why would they not attack with the house spider? Could have just done a lot more damage to me. Yeah, I like Yone here also. Not a huge difference between Yone and Mina Swiftfoot, but Mina Swiftfoot will allow them to replay these things. Um, Yone gets me the three extra mana for next turn, where you know makes makes it easier for me to start playing multiple things next turn, uh, especially with like a Will of Ionia plus something else, like if they go to open attack. Look within. That was much closer than it really should have been. But um, my my biggest mistake was not killing, was playing the second Robin and not killing their Twisted Fate. That made that game much closer than it should have been. Um, leveled up Twisted Fate is just, you know, incredible. I needed to kill Twisted Fate. Um, then they had the salvages, but then obviously I then I misclicked and didn't play Yone. You know, play. there's a lot of there's a big difference between just playing a one two and playing a six five. They got gets rid of all their blockers. <laughs> That was a misclick. Anyway, but there we go. There's Yasuo, Leona. Um, good showing from the deck, three and two. And, um, you know, it, it, it looked good. And, and especially for a Yasuo deck, definitely looked very competitive. Um, the the fourth match that we lost felt like we, we were in it and maybe could have had that one be a win. Um, I think out of playing, this is my first time playing Leona and Yasuo. The question is, do I prefer Yasuo with Leona or Swain? I I liked this version more than just Yasuo Swain decks that I played in the past. That the Yasuo Swain is kind of just a worse Bilgewater and Swain. Um, the Ionia cards are not nearly as good as the Bilgewater cards. This, though, felt like, you know, like the Daybreak cards were good, but then the Daybreak cards also did help. Yasuo and you know our, our Ionia is really just a splash with Blade Twirler, Concussive Palm, Yasuo, Will of Ionia. You know, like our our Ionia is definitely a splash, and I think that this worked out a lot better than what the than what Swain and Yasuo goes. So if if I were to recommend a Yasuo deck, I think this is where I would recommend going. This version where you're kind of having Yasuo as the the secondary piece. Um, but there we go. That's our deck. All right, so that's Yasuo Leona. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about maybe, maybe playing a second Hush instead of that Bastion. Those Bastions weren't so good. Um, do you like second Hush, or do you think we should go third Concussive Palm, third Will of Ionia, or play a Steel Tempest? We could have one Steel Tempest. I'm not a big fan of Steel Tempest, but we could play that instead of the second Hush. Got any big opinions about that? Feel free to let me know in the in the chat or, you know, anything else. I'd appreciate it. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. So I'm Yasuo Leona, and I'll see you for the next video.